Welcome to The Market Bull, I'm Sarah Powell and joining me from Frankfurt's Gold Messi, Germany's premier investment mining conference, is Mark Sale, CEO from First Class Metals. Mark, it's great to be speaking to you from this event and with the price of gold being so buoyant currently, I'm sure this must be having a positive impact on the atmosphere there. Can you tell us how are discussions going? It's, it's amazing how things turn around, isn't it, Sarah? I mean, uh, gold was the, the, the poor sister or brother in the room a few months ago, and now it's back to being the buzzword. And I think that just gives me more confidence why I almost always introduce First Class as an exploration company with gold as its backbone, because it, it always comes back to gold. And here we are looking at almost record prices of gold. And yes, whilst, uh, as, as you would know, we have the battery metals, base metals, the critical metals in our portfolio, Gold is the backbone of our exploration portfolio. Wonderful. And staying on the subject of gold, you recently announced the soil sampling results from the ESSA property, which confirmed the potential for gold mineralisation. Can you tell us more about this? Well, we're, we're really excited about this because it's, it's now moved ESSA from a concept, a theory, a hypothesis, a maybe, into something that's tangible. I mean, ESSA is transected by one of these, uh, one of three look-alike shears that uh, mimics the Hemlo Barrett gold mine hosted shear. So the fact that we've now got gold anomalous trends on our property along that structure, that shear, uh, that is confirmed off property by gold samples to the east and the west, we are excited. Uh, I mean, and, and this really comes back to how we, we, we sold the, the ESSA property at the beginning. The fact that there was a, a lack of outcrop, but there was this geophysical data that in, inferred there was this structure. Now we have geochemical data that uh, supports that hypothesis of a, a structure existing that is now anomalous in gold. But I think there's, a, there's more work to be done because where that structure, that shear, is intersected by other north, south, north, east trending structures is where we're seeing the focus of the gold. So we, there's a little bit for us to understand yet, but the, the bottom line is we have a, a structure that transects the property that now has geochemical evidence to back up the fact that not only is it anomalous in gold, the surface expression, not only are the soils anomalous in gold, but also in pathfinder elements such as arsenic, molybdenum, importantly, of course, as, as well as um, antimony. Thank you, Mark. That sounds really interesting and we'll certainly look forward to hearing more on that one. Uh, finally, next week, I understand you're attending the one-to-one -one conference in London. I'm sure that's going to be another busy event for you and a good opportunity to engage with UK investors. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. We've got a very packed schedule, I must say, over two days next week. I'm there with fellow director Ayo Bodhi. Um, if, if anyone wants to come and see us, obviously we will, we will find time to tell them the first class story. But we're certainly gaining momentum um, and the field season is now upon us. Things are thawing, drying out in Ontario. Uh, and we will have people back out on the ground creating new news flow as soon as possible. Thank you, Mark. Enjoy the rest of the event in Frankfurt and we'll look forward to catching up soon. Yes, likewise, Sarah. Thank you very much.